The heyday of the East India Company was in the 1700s and it made Gothenburg a famous harbour town. Every good household had to have tea and Chinese porcelain. Headlines chanted, This is where maids and servants drink their tea. The East India Company was formed on the initiative of Scottish nobleman Colin Campbell and the shy Swede Nicholas Salgrin. They applied for a charter which afforded them a lucrative monopoly on trade with China. The company built 37 vessels and made 139 trips. All account books were burned, of course. People are so curious when it comes to money. A trip took one and a half years there and back for those who made it back home. The supercargo was a key person on board and he called all the shots, although the captain was technically in charge. The supercargo had responsibility for transshipment and trading of axes, fishing gear, lanterns, pen knives, flour, dried fish, mattresses and brushes. Everything was traded in Cadiz, Spain, for the silver that the Chinese wanted. Exotic goods such as silk, furniture, tea and especially porcelain were very sought after back home. Many castles and landlords wanted to flaunt their own decorations and family coats of arms and sent along drawings for the Chinese artists to transfer onto plates and barrels. The Chinese were very skilled and copied everything, even water damages, as you see here. Homecoming was a big event in Gothenburg when the ships were sighted at the Vinga Lighthouse. The curious gathered to see who the survivors were. The East India Company held a great feast called the Hen Party, which lasted for a week. Then the officials were busy for days bringing goods into the city with smaller boats and carts, printing catalogues and advertising in the press. The auctions were held in a warehouse in Nora Hamngarten. Serious buyers came from all over Europe. Nicholas Salgrain became one of the country's wealthiest men. He lived in a palace. He was reclusive and declined a knighthood, but the poor thing couldn't refuse membership of the Gustav III Vasa order. He also donated 24 beds to a hospital. This hospital later became the famous Salgrenska Hospital. Another spirited gentleman was the wealthy William Chambers, whose endowment established Chambers School which eventually became the Chalmers University of Technology. So they both got a pretty fair deal out of it. Today's East India ship, SS Yotavoy, was built in the same way as it was in the 18th century. Since being built in 2003, it has sailed to China and back. It is a copy of the 1745 ship, which sank just outside the entrance of Gothenburg Harbour. However, most of its cargo was salvaged, and insurance fraud was suspected or perhaps an early example of creative Gothenburg entrepreneurship. I'll be damned. 